Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. King back here with our Oakland A's owner mode. Going through some trades right now. We're currently looking at doing a trade with the Cubs here. Looking at Carlos Zambrano along with Ramirez to come in as our new DH guy. Sending out Eric Chavez and Brandon Webb. So right now, Chavez is batting. Hasn't been up to par to being in DH. He's batting 239 right now. Ramirez is batting 292 on the year. Seven home runs, 33 RBIs. He's definitely producing more than Chavez is right now. Uh, he's a year younger. And then power numbers-wise, he's way better against righties. He's in the 90s against the righties. Chavez is only a 76 power against righties. Lefties, pretty similar. Power's almost the same. I know Ramirez's contact's a little bit less. But he definitely makes up for it with his batting against the righties. Unfortunately, his speed and his fielding are terrible, but he'll just be a DH. We're not putting him in, into the field at all, so that's fine. And then the other swap is Webb for Zambrano. So Zambrano's 28, Webb is 30, and Zambrano's just having a better year. Better ERA, more strikeouts, walks, four more, but... Not by a whole heck of a lot there. Pitching-wise, his stamina is 100, which is pretty good. Fastball is a 97. Webb's fastball is only an 86. Like, Webb's best pitch is a sinker at a 92. So I think Zambrano would probably be an upgrade. He's also got a 93 two-seamer. Webb's two-seamer is only a 74. So see if they accept this. I don't think they will. I think we're going to have to add a little more talent. But then Webb's also making 4.1. Here's the salary breakdown. So we'd actually be shedding some salary here, giving giving up 15 million that way, taking on 9.3 coming back. Everyone's on one-year deals though, so we'll see if we re-sign them. We'll offer this one straight up. Yeah, reject it. Okay, we're gonna have to add. Wonder if we can add anyone from the miners. Brian Roberts probably don't need him. Can we just tack him in? No, they'll probably want a younger guy. Uh, let's try, I don't know if we want to have these guys as prospects or not, Roberts is there, Street, let's try Houston Street, nope, okay, maybe we need to add some MLB talent here, Rubina, we know we want to get rid of him, can't package him into it, Could throw Luis Gonzalez in here. He's had a pretty crappy year so far. He's only batting 183. He's not going to do what he did last year for us. Plus, we have a young enough talent that we can bring some guys up to replace him on the bench, I think. Yeah, let's throw Gonzalez in, but then can we get a younger guy coming back? Swindell, outstanding middle infielder. Oh, this guy's going to get good. They probably won't want to add him in, but we can try. Nope, nothing. Sammy Sosa, there's a guy. One year, he's making $10.3 million. I mean, if we have to take on a bad contract, we could with that. But we would also need a prospect to take on that much money. Uh, Borowski, what's he making? He's making 2.1. And I'm wondering the salaries might be what they want to match closer to. Yeah, wait, we tried Swindell, right? Yeah, rejected. Uh, Haynes, sure. Solid middle infielder, nope. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to add any other talent on Todd Hollinsworth. They might want to get rid of his contract. No. Okay, let's try to take Bork Borowski's contract on. Nope. I mean, if we have to, we could take on Sammy Sosa's contract. I'm not mad. It's just one year. Sosa, Ramirez, and Zambrano for Chavez and Webb. We would be then taking on more salary, only by $4 million, though. And we're making enough money now, so I think we can handle that. No, still rejected. All right, so it looks like this trade's just not going to go through with Zambrano and Ramirez. Might have to pivot and look elsewhere. Yeah, they don't have any other starters I would be interested in. Aaron Cook, no. Who's this guy? Clemens. Oh, he's a younger starter. Not really established, though. He would just be like our uh, Franklin, basically, back in the pen there. Franklin and Flanders. Unknown, really, of what you're getting. We need a we need a established starter here, so I'll keep on taking a look here. 
All right, so the Giants got rushed in here. He's a good first baseman, but he is upset, so he might be looking to get traded here. He's got a great bat, 90 contact against righties, 91 against lefties. He would, he might be able to even come in and start for us at first, I'm thinking, because who wears smoke? There's smoke with smoke's fielding. I mean, smoke is a bit better of a fielder, I think. And he's actually got some wheels, plus he's actually younger than Rushton. So I think Rushton could come in and DH for us, keep smoke in the field, and then they got Matt Kane, 24-year-old starter here, compared to Webb. Um, less stamina. Better fastball, though. Just better pitches, I feel like, because Webb's got a couple 74s and a 76 in there. At least Kane's worst pitch is a 77. Two seamers in 85, changeup of an 82. And on the season, his ERA is a 255 right now. It's pretty low. Plus, he's 24, so we would get younger in the starting rotation. Webb, I have a feeling he's going to be falling off soon here. He's at one of our older starters, who's not the best starter we have, but like we could move Jackson as well if needed. Um, I kind of want to keep Jackson, though. I feel like Jackson could develop a little bit more. He's only 25. That fastball is a 99 overall. If he can get his secondary pitches up, he's going to be a threat. So yeah, I'm thinking we can maybe try to move Chavez and Webb for Kane and Rushton. I don't think we're offering enough, plus the salary is high. Um, let's try throwing Alomar into that deal. No. And I think we're going to have to either put more talent on the table for them here, or we ask for le a less established batter. Uh, Brinkman, I mean, we could throw Gonzalez into the deal here. Kotze... I know we said he might be starting for Rios and right here. Uh, but do we want to keep him? He's 33. Could try and package him up. Gonzalez, is he enough to add in? No. We'll try Kotze. No. Okay. What if we were out? Offer them Rios. We could offer them Rios. Bring Kotze into right. And then if we had to, we could move like Pablo. He's a utility guy right now. We could shift him to the outfield in the future. Or we can go and find one of our prospects down here like this guy. U use Bio. He's 23. 85 fielding. He's not bad. Let's see if they would take this. Uh, should we add some talent then? I don't want to be giving away guys and not getting enough value back for them. Left fielder, oh, he's 21. Yeah, let's throw him into the deal. Nope. Moat, a catcher? No. How about just straight up? Nothing. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, Russian's going to be tough to get. He's a pretty high overall. So let's keep Kane in there. What about Kuiper? He's a second baseman. Oh, yeah, his fielding is terrible at a 55. He's got speed, though, as a 91. Good power, considering he's only a second baseman. This guy could be a pretty good DH for us. He's batting almost 300. Let's throw Kuiper in there instead. Let's remove Rios. And yeah, just straight up a two-for-two two swap here. Nothing. Okay, Alomar. There we go. We got him. Matt Kane and Kuiper are coming in here. All right, so let's update the roster here. Kuiper, yeah, so Reyes is technically better than Kuiper, which is expected. Kuiper is going to be our DH here. And then other than that, everything is pretty normal. So, you know, what? I don't want to mess with the rosters too much. Is there anyone on DL lists? Yeah, there's this guy. Let's throw him under the 15 dayer. Okay, yeah, so that's it. So we could optimize the rosters, but then I'm just afraid they might sign some players. So, you know, let's just straight up call them up. And then Kane, there we go. Yeah, and then that's the maximum. Perfect. So Matt Kane slots into the starting rotation. 24 years old, pairing him with Hamels now. So that's our core moving forward. And then our batting lineup, DH, is going to go to Dwayne Kuyper. Yeah, that 55 fielding is pretty bad. So we don't want him out there at second for sure. Range isn't even that good either. At least his base running aggressiveness is a 90, speed's a 91. Don't love his ability at a 65, but his durability is also pretty low, so it'll be good to just stick him at DH, I think. He's having a good year batting, solid against righties, good power against lefties, almost batting 300, so that's an upgrade from Chavez at least. And then Rios, yeah, you know, I'm thinking we throw Kotze into right field. He's definitely earned a starting starting spot here. He's batting 406. I know it's small sample size, but 
Let's showcase Kotze before the trade deadline at least. He is what? He's 33. He's got one year left. We're probably not going to resign him. So if we have to flip him at the deadline, if we're not competing, we can. If we are competing, that's fine. We can have him as depth in the playoffs, and then that'll be that. Bay, he's doing fine for now. He's 30. He is getting on the wrong side of 30 here. Fielding's down to a 65, so might want to re look to replace Bay this off season. Just that power against lefties, nice at 100. Abbott's fine. Smoke's doing well. Pennington's fine. Lee's doing well. And Brinkman, he's 24. Still want to give him a chance here. I think we need to give him a full season of starting here. And then we'll see what happens next year. All right, so I think that's all the changes we can do to the team right now. I know Rubina's also doing pretty bad. Let's send him down. Let's get Houston Street up here. There we go. Houston Street's taking Urbina's spot in the bullpen back there. Wilson's fine as the setup. Franklin's doing well. Hawkins and Ginter. Yeah, so we're good there. Optimize that. There we go. Where are we? We're currently five and a half games back in the AL West. We're only one game over 500 here. So we still have a chance here. It's only June 1st. Lots of time to turn this thing around. All right, so let's sim up to the home stand against the Dodgers and the Twins. Dodgers in, ca in town, game impact of a 3 out of 10. Let's just keep old prices as is. We'll see how, how it all sells. 7-6 loss. Oh, man, we scored 2 in the bottom of the ninth. Not enough to get the win, though. 81, 86, 81, 74, 72. Let's drop the 70s down. The sales in the 80s will keep. Dodgers aren't that good either this year, boys. Come on, we got to... We gotta beat him here. There we go. 7-4 win. Back in the win column. We're on a bad little streak there too. Uh yeah, like look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are on a nine game streak there of just dropping games. So back in the win column, we're one and four in June. Yeah, we gotta turn this thing around soon before next month's trade deadline hits. Or else we will have to be selling. And we haven't been sellers yet with this squad have a good little core in place here so would like to keep it intact 6-3 loss to the twins man nine and a half games back to seattle now we're definitely starting to fall a bit behind the pack here at least we are making money still on pace to make 14.4 million this year but that will go down if we're not in a playoff spot come september august time frame our games aren't going to be 10 out of 10s they're going to be like the three out of tens and no one wants to come out to watch those games looks like there's a lot of guys on the trading block let's go search the block anyone good lance nix is the best player cook sledge adrian gonzalez top prospect at 27 only 21 career games he never got to actually play here in texas that's too bad yeah not a lot of talent ken harvey yeah, if he had more power, wouldn't mind bringing him in as a DH. He's only 31, but power's in the 60s. If he was like high 70s, low 80s, that, that would have been perfect. All right, let's see if the team is tired or not. We got to get this team rested and with wins. Abbott, yeah, he's tired. Boom. Center field, Rios, you're going in. Pablo, you can go in wherever. Uh, let's put you in at second. And then first base, oh, and of course we need a shortstop too. Gonzalez, you can go into first, and then Pablo can go into short next game. Give Cliff the break. There we go, five in the bottom of the third. Oh yeah, there we go. Lots of, lots of runs scored there, 8-3 win. $1.6 million made. Seattle's looking to trade Chris Glover to us. The first baseman, he's 23. Not great batting stats. Nothing, yeah, nothing special. Don't need that. Garcia is upset with his playing time. Yeah, only nine innings pitched. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you just haven't had any opportunities to get saves here. Yeah, when we're not in a situation to get a save, unfortunately, Garcia's just not coming into play. He's a little upset. Got to have more leads going into the ninth here, boys. Hamill's going up against the ace, Johan Santana of the Twins. There we go. one nothing win. Garcia didn't even come in for the save. Hamill's pitched the complete game shutout, it looks like. Good for him. All right, so we got an off day here. Then we do have Kansas City at home. Then in Baltimore, in KC, then Texas. 
Let's see what the game impact is for this Texas series. Uh, sorry, this Kansas City series. Yeah, it's a 3 out of 10. So, yeah, we're just going to keep the ticket prices as is. So, let's sim up to our next homestand of the Angels. Hamels injured with a minor meniscus sprain. Okay, at least it's only for five days. Flanders, you get bumped into the starting rotation. Kane still doing well for us. Edwin Jackson, ERA is under four, so I like what he's producing for us. Zito, not his typical ace self. He is 31, but still doing well. And then Harden, 479. Let's see, Harden has one year, one year left. Zito has a year left. Two years on Edwin. Kane, Kane's on a double A contract. That's that's fantastic. Yeah, so what I'm worried about, if we're not in a playoff spot this year, I don't want Zito to walk for nothing next offseason because I don't think we're going to sign him. He's probably going to want a lot of money. So Zito might be going on to the tr trading block here. Uh, relievers, yeah, they're all. it's a very young core. So don't have to worry about trading, guys. We're willing to pay them to stay here long term. Hamels is back perfect flanders gets his demotion back to the long long relief role we should give him a spot start at some point here he hasn't pitched much can we give him a spot start here in kansas city is harden yeah harden's up you know what let's give flanders a spot start give him a chance to show what he's got here okay houston street gets the win garcia picks up the save flanders era though it was what a 716 when he started down to a 675, not great, but at least I got him some more experience. Hamill's out with a strained lower back now. All right, Flanders, you're back into the rotation here. And he'll probably get a start at some point here. There we go. Oakland's starting to turn it around. We're now three and a half games back at Seattle, 10 games over 500. Definitely been having a great June here. We're 15 and 6 in June. No, we're not looking to trade right now. Let's take a look at the All Star voting. Abbott's up there, no one at first. Kuiper's up there at second. Let's go along with Jose Reyes. Uh, Chris Lee, top five for third base. But no one at short, no one in the outfield either. Okay, at least we got a couple guys in here. And then pitching wise, I'm assuming Matt Kane should be going to the All Star game. 252 ERA, six wins. Uh, Flanders just filling in. Jackson still has a 347 ERA, Zito 352, and Harden 479. How's Kuiper doing here? He's batting 293, so his average has gone down a little bit since he got here, but still doing better than what Chavez was doing for us. Angels are in town, game impact of an 8, so let's knock everything up by 2 clicks. And then set that baseline to see if that's what fans are willing to pay for a game like this. Zito's up. Bartolo Colon, the other starting pitcher. Uh, Abbott. Let's get him out. Throw McDonald in there. Everyone else is in the 90s. Ah, uh, Garcia blew the save. Got $2 million that game, though. So tickets were probably selling. Yeah, they were selling quite well. Let's keep that as is. Income statement. Only 13.5. We're on pace to make for this season now. It's down from our 14. All right, Harden, you're up. Uh, Reyes and Pennington need to come out. So let's throw Gonzalez there. Pablo Cunha for Pennington. And then Brinkman, Rios. There we go. Good 4-1 win at home. Oh, just under $2 million made there. It's close enough. Tickets were probably all the same. Yeah, everything's selling well. Concession stands. Everything's selling pretty good. Yeah, the item's down in the 30s. We just have so much of it. Chicken strips are a hot seller, though. Ice cream cone, maybe we drop that a little bit then. Uh, French fries, yeah, let's drop that down to two bucks. Barbecue sandwich sold only 35% of the year. I'm looking at the total sold here. If it's low, I think we drop the prices on them. Peanuts, only 26%. So let's drop that to $3. Popcorns are going down to $1.50. Pretzels selling well. Soda, let's drop that down to two bucks. Pizza will drop down to two fifty a slice, and hot dog down to two dollars. Yeah, let's drop them all down. Try and sell more of them. All right, Flanders is getting his chance here. He's starting, and he's basically going to have a complete starting team behind him. But we're going to throw Gonzalez in at first. How's his batting going right now? Down to one sixty seven. Yeah, I think we're going to have to move him and find a better bench bat. 
Ooh, Flanders gave up five runs in the top of the third, and yeah, ends up in a loss for Houston Street, unfortunately. Hamels is back. Good. Let's throw him in there. Flanders, ERA 788. Ooh. Franklin's doing great down here. He might be the next spot starter coming in. Flanders just can't seem to figure it out. Everything sold pretty well. Another 8 out of 10 for Texas, so let's keep it as is here. 5-2 win. Nicely done, boys. And then pricing. Yep, that's good. What's the concession saying after we change the price? Okay, so revenue is actually down, but we're selling more percentage-wise. Uh, this one, 17. Yeah, it looks like we probably have to bring the prices back up if we want to make any money on them. Uh, this one, yeah, we got to keep popcorn at $2. Uh, pretzels, peanuts, sorry, staying at three fifty. Ice cream cone, it's close enough. We'll just keep it at 3 Chicken strips, yeah, stayed at three fifty. dollars Those ones all stayed. Uh, the French fries, yeah, let's pop them back up to two fifty, And the special barbecue sandwich, going back up to two fifty. Next, then if we go financial trends... Yeah, not as mu I mean, we're making the most we are during the year, but I think that's driven by the ticket sales of the game impact. Ah, oh, 6-4 loss. Again, tickets, yep, yeah, selling just fine. So here, let's sim up. Oh, it's almost the All-Star game. Let's sim to the All-Star game and see what guys we've got going on there. All right, All-Star team has been announced. Let's take a look at the American League here. Cole Hamels is going as a starter. Matt Cain's in there as a starter. Good. Relievers. Oh, I thought we would have gotten Ginter in there at least. True, I guess all, all these guys are closers and Garcia's not doing well for us. Closing. And then the bench, we've got Kuiper going. So we've only been sending three guys. Kuiper, Kane, and Hamels. That's disappointing. Uh, Cy Young race. Yeah, like, look at that. Jason Ginter, top five for the Cy Young as a reliever. Then we also got Hamels and Kane on there. MVP race, no one. All of our positional guys are just not having great seasons right, right now. Let's take another look. So Reyes is almost batting 300 now. He's up at 290. Kotze, oh yeah, he came back down to earth. He's batting 266. Rios is batting 231. All right, yeah, so Kotze might not be a long-term solution here in right field. Bay's doing okay, 260. Abbott's doing well now, batting 324. Kuiper's batting 291. Smoke, 288. Pennington, 295. Lee, 288. And Brinkman, min, just middle of the pack, 250. Okay, so it's looking like we might need to upgrade at right field. I'm thinking Rios just wasn't getting it done. Kotze's not getting it done now. Gonzalez is a terrible bench bat. He's not doing well. McDonald... I mean, if we can find a different backup catcher, great, but not at the top of the list, I think. Pablo, he's doing well. He's batting 292. Utility guy, do we move Pablo into right field for a bit and then ship Kotze and Gonzalez out for, like, a quality backup young bench piece? Or then again, we could go and find a new right fielder, ship out Kotze and Rios, even Gonzalez if we have to really find a stud right fielder a younger right fielder too probably so we can have lock that position up for a while and in worst case we have to call up someone from our triple a team how are our minor league teams doing anyways triple a's five games back double a uh they came second in the first half so they might get a playoff spot. And then our A-team, first half, they came second. Right now, they're last. They're 7-13. Lots of time to turn that around, though. So not the best minor league teams, I would say. Are, like, what, what are they ranked? Oh, third, third, and then 29th for A. So, yeah, like, we have good ranked teams. Just need them to actually win. Pitching were first. Batting 13th. Fielding third. Speed first. So, yeah, our bats need some help. Maka, is your job on the line? Probably not. I don't think... We want to get rid of him just yet. However, we can look at who's available staff. Yeah, the best staff available is, is a gloss guy. And his overall is terrible compared to Maka. So keep Maka as, as our head coach still. So I think we we'll can end the video there. Next video will be leading up to the trade deadline. We got to get through the All-Star game there. 
Pitching wise, again, we're okay. Hamill's doing well. Kane's doing well. Edwin Jackson, I'm fine with his performance. Good with Zito. Harden's getting better as well. His ERA is down to a four. So I think our our core starters are good. Flanders might send him down to get some more pitching experience. We'll see. But yeah, other than that, the Pens doing well. Houston Street not so hot. Might have to send him down for Gill. We'll see. Then yeah, Garcia. Not the best closer. Might want to upgrade closer in the offseason or this year if we can find a better closer. So, thinking we got to package Kotze and Rios on the way out. Gonzalez probably on the way out. Got to bring in a right fielder. Got to bring in another bench piece and then maybe even a closer if we can package like Houston Street or Gill, some of our minor league pitching prospects. Can probably be on the way out. Um, free agency, yeah, there's no one to sign there. Trading block, anyone, ooh, Renteria, he's available. Oh, no power against righties, never mind. Uh, this Oliver guy, he's 22, he's pretty good. Uh, Christian Guzman, no, Lance Nix, would Nix be a guy that we want to go and get for right field? Probably not, his range is a 55, fielding's a 60, so he's going to be a liability out there. Sledge? He's actually a pretty good fielder. Uh, Batting-wise, he's not bad. He's got power against righties. What's he batting on the year? He's batting 282. That could be a cheap solution. We could go out and get Sledge. He's only got one year left at $1 million. Could go out and get him just to plug a hole if needed. Uh, Ryan Howard. Gonzalez Castillo. Yeah, outfielding-wise, maybe we go after... Sledge, who's this guy, DeShane's, yeah, I know he's not great, okay, yeah, so we can either go after Sledge, we can go find a different right fielder, so we'll figure that out next video, thanks for watching guys, if you're new around here, make sure to hit that sub button, leave a like on the video, thanks for watching.